Hey guys, having a big fish on 499. Hope everybody has been doing well. Coming to you from the deck. Um, yeah, it's been a really crazy week for me. I, this is like the third time I've tried to make this video. I got a package from Greg, Greg Thomas 82. I opened this, but I have not looked at it because um, when I tried to shoot this video on Sunday, I was right in the same place. And um, I just finished cooking dinner. We ate supper. Um, and the ever came over and said, I want to go play with the neighbors across the street. I said, yeah, man, go ahead. So uh, he ran over there, and I figured he was going to be gone. So I was, like, making the video, and, and I heard this fucking awful scream over there. And I was like, holy shit, that's Edward. I know it. <laughs> Parental instinct. I knew it was him. It, I, I don't know the exact story, honestly, but he went over there. He was messing around with a bird bath, and... The, the lid of the bird bath tumped over and he went to grab it. Nonetheless, he has sliced his finger open from like here on his little hand from here to almost down there through one, two, three joints. So, uh, had to stop the video. I already had two takes on it and then, um, or two or three takes, I can't remember. And then that happened and then we wound up rushing to the emergency room and being in the emergency, emergency room till three in the morning so uh yeah i wound up having to knock him out and give him a nerve block and it was man it was bad he's got 12 stitches in his finger so uh so yeah he'll be very proud i'm sure he'll be coming home from school soon so maybe he'll come make an appearance in this maybe not but yeah he's got 12 stitches in his finger he's he's manned up now i guess <laughs> he he's from he's promoted the manhood i guess like right now but he's officially a boy got his first set of stitches so yeah I mean nonetheless I tried to make this video I mean, I've got a bunch of little stuff here and there two minutes in already just a nice little introductory story <laughs> let you know how Edward's doing <laughs> so but uh yeah it's been kind of a stupid day today my lawnmower fucking crapped out on me I was gonna mow the grass uh, elbow is doing fucking good I fucking can bend my elbow uh, uh, I had some bruising going on here and eh, fuck it it's almost gone so, so yeah, everything's good. Edward's fucked up. <laughs> I'm better and Edward's messed up now. Just hope the wife doesn't fucking take a fall or something. Anyway, um, let me show you some cards. I got this and that stuff, and I got that package from Greg. So let's do this. Um, a while back, I was doing a video. Or tried to do a video in the car. We went to Walmart, Edward and I. I was doing a box break of the new Leaf Draft. And um, the... The blaster boxes come with two autos in it, and I got this um, Kavari Russell auto. I believe he was picked up by Kansas City, so if you're interested, anybody, I think it was in Notre Dame, Washington. And then I got this. I didn't know who he was, and he got drafted by my Packers. Pretty cool. Jason Spriggs, it's the yellow variation. This is what the base looks like. This is the base version auto, and then they have like that yellow at the bottom. So this is the yellow variation auto. Sticker auto from Indiana. Pretty cool. Hold on to it for now until I get a Packers uniform. Or um, So yeah, got into a group break on Friendly Box Breaks a long, long, long time ago. And uh, it was a pick your team, and it took forever to fill... Um, there was like a few teams left and the Mets were kind of cheap. The Mets have been hitting a lot in a lot of the baseball products. I guess since they were in the World Series last year, they got a lot of good rookies and stuff. So um, it, it was cheap. It was a one-box break. I think it was like $12 for the Mets. I was like, why not? Maybe I'll get a Cinder Guard, which I did, but it's a base card. No Cinder Guard. It's not numbered. Um, and then I got this guy, Kevin Plowicki. These cards are really, really nice, man. I really like these a lot. This is numbered on a 399 dual game use sticker auto. But that card is nice, man. It's nice black border. It's got some silver going on. It's got the blue. It's got the team colors. I like museum. It looks nice. I like it a lot. Um, basketball. Y'all ready for some basketball? They play in basket. Ball. Yeah, basketball PC. Um, like I said, this isn't anything crazy. It's just something that like players that I've been interested in, like the the late 80s, early 90s, 
and I'm starting to do a little PC of it, just guys that I uh, enjoyed watching back in the day, trying to keep things interesting, refreshing, just something different. I still cannot find uh, the, the, the cards. There's a Hank Aaron, the guy still wants too much for my Tier 1 set, and the Sandy Koufax is just, it's gone, fuck it. It's, I got reimbursed, it is not here, it's been over almost 8 months now, gone, just forget, forget it, it's gone. So I still need the Sandy Koufax and the Hank Aaron for the Tier 1 set to finish it. So, been looking for something just different to do, other than just Packer stuff. I've uh, been looking for a little Cub stuff here and there. But basketball, guy I loved watching. 89 uh, uh, Slam Dunk Championship. Kenny Skywalker had the bicycle shorts and the flat top. It was badass. And the gold chain. I love that he signs his name Skywalker, too. It's pretty cool. Kenny Skywalker. This guy right here, this is numbered out of 49. 28 of 49. On card out of 2012-13 uh, Panini Preferred. Dan Marley. Everybody's all into Steph Curry, which he is. Steph Curry's badass, and he's the guy who broke all of this guy's records. Dan Marley used to be Thunder Dan. He used to, like, dunk the shit out of the ball, and he was, like, the guy back in the day who, who held the most career threes in a game, most um, most career threes in a, or most threes in a game and most career threes at that era. But until Steph Curry came along, he just blew the shit out of him. Steph Curry's badass, though. Half-court shots and stuff. Guy's a beast. Dan Marley, though, I always enjoyed watching him and Barkley, and um, even Shaq came along at some point on the Suns. Who else was on that team? That team was fun to watch, too, back in the day. I always enjoyed watching the Suns when they were building up. So there's that. Coming from Alabama, a lot of people are Hawks fans around here, so I had to have this one for the PC. Again, on-card auto. This one's numbered out of 199 out of... Famed Signatures, Panini Famed Signatures, Dominique Wilkins, Human Highlight Reel, so that's badass, had to have one of those, and this is the card that really kind of started this whole kind of basketball thing off for me, um, there was a guy in Aces and Eights uh, raffle group, and he's a good guy, he always gets in mine, and he was having trouble filling the last two spots, and I took the last two, they were four bucks a spot, eight bucks, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Hall of Famer, Lou Alcindor, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Always enjoyed watching him. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty badass, man. Nice uh, little start to my little basketball chase. I, I, I actually have made a list of people that I'm interested in getting. I'm not getting everybody, you know. I'm just doing the people that I enjoyed watching. So, there's that. All right, before we get into Greg's, I'm going to go ahead and show this one. This was also a raffle win. I saw this, and I was like, I want one for the PC. I grabbed a couple spots in it, and um, I got numbers 8 and 7, his jersey number, and if that says anything, Everett, I just saw your uh, your number 87 that you picked up. Mine is also out of 25, but mine is from 2015 National Treasures, Gronk. Is this the signatures? Yep. 11 out of 25 National Treasures Signatures, Rob Gronkowski. It's a nice raffle win for uh, 14 bucks. Pretty happy about that. First Gronk for the PC. I picked up Gronks for Everett. I picked up Gronk, a Gronk for someone else. So at one time it was mine, but this is mine. I'm keeping it. Badass card. Enjoy it. All right, now for Greg's. I want to I keep rolling around because we're at nine minutes. Um, and again, I opened this up, and after I opened it, I was like, oh, what the hell? And I actually kind of peeked in it right there, in the slat. But I did not open it, because <laughs> I had to scramble. It says, hope you feel well soon, buddy, Greg. Doing good, buddy. Doing real good. Um, and I was also drinking a really tasty beer from Sacramento. It was Molly Red something. I know Greg's had it because I texted him a picture of it. It was really good. Right, Greg? Um, it was really good. I was having it during the video and wound up not drinking at all. <laughs> had to uh, put half of it away and I drank half of it yesterday. But uh, on the top here, we got Eddie Lacy, draft, uh, Prism Draft Picks. 
Got TJ Yeldon on the back. Got a Eddie Lacy right there. That's sick. Oh, that's badass. This is out of also 15 National Treasures. 25 out of 25. Eddie Lacy. So thank you so much. Again, this package was from this is retaliation from Greg. Greg told me he was sending something. Ooh. Um, because I sent him a 101. It was a Ty Montgomery logo or a Shield logo that I won in a raffle. I just sent it to him. Um, I'm just not into those cards really. He knows that. So I sent it to him because he was having trouble with a, a National Treasures Shield that the seller was just being difficult to deal with. So I sent him that. So I hope that uh, hope that fills the void. This is pretty cool. I've never seen this. This is out of 2016 tops. There's no numbering on it though, and it looks like like a one of one or like a plate almost, but it doesn't say one of one on it. It's just silver. Can someone tell me what that is? Is that a silver card? There's no numbering or anything. It doesn't say refractor. It doesn't say anything. But it's all silver. Of Chris Coughlin. Who I don't believe is with the team anymore. I haven't seen him more. Did they send him down? I'm not sure. But everybody else is killing it. I love watching the Cubs this year. This guy right now is... I'm not sure if he's with Tennessee or if they moved him up to Iowa. But he'll be on the verge. We'll probably see him this year. Come up to the pros this year, maybe, as a middle reliever. Because, God almighty, the middle relievers are sucking, man. How do you have an 8-3 to three lead and load the bases and give up a grand slam to be down by one? That was like a scary, that was a shit flashback Cubs moment right there. That happened not but a week ago. So, but C.J. Edwards, hopefully we'll see him soon as one of our middle relievers. That'd be awesome. Greg asked me about these two cards. There's a magnet or a screw down behind it. I gotta roll before it gets to 15. Or my phone acts stupid. But Greg asked me about these. I did not have these for the PC. I just never pulled the trigger on them. This is um, Rookie Inc. Haha -ha Clinton Dix out of Contenders. It is not numbered. And then that next card is pretty fucking nice. And I do not have it. This is a playoff ticket out of 199 of Ha Ha Clinton Dix. Did not have those. It was one of those two cards I was really looking for. That's all the really the Ha Ha Clinton Dix I really wanted to get. It was only like two or three cards I really wanted, and those were two of them. So thank you, Greg. And this next card is nasty. It's man, that's a beautiful card, actually. I hope the lighting picks this up. Sticker auto, Panini. Collegiate draft picks, football, 2015, and New York, Landon Collins, but it's in a Bama uniform, All-American. That is a beautiful card. Greg, you always know what I like, brother. Always. So, Greg, thank you so much. If you don't know Greg Thomas by now, geez, Lord. Man, Greg Thomas, one of the most awesome dudes, one of my best friends on here, man. Glad to call you friend. Roll Tide, big guy. Take a big old slurp here. Oh. Go get Greg a sub if you don't know it. Link in the description box. Um, thank you everybody for watching. That's all I got. I'm not going to ramble on anymore. You don't want to look at me anyway. And uh, yeah, man. Awesome stuff, man. Um, just been letting this accumulate. So, got a lot of stuff coming up. Summertime is here. Um, Edward's about to be out of school soon. Uh, we got some vacation and stuff planned. I'm um, about to go see some uh, friends, going to a fish concert. About really happy and excited about that. So, uh, so yeah, I got a lot of stuff planned. What have you got planned for the summertime? Let me know. So until then, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it, and uh, y'all take care. Peace.